my son was my friend. I didn't know that was coming. I didn't see that coming. And they just desert me. I was a street girl when I was pregnant with them. Uh, after I got settled out in the beginning from the shelter, so that had pushed me down. Homeless, uh, yeah, homeless. You, you couldn't get I any, couldn't get find a, a place to live. They probably think, but it's not your money, this is, this this is, is my, your money. This is no, you yes. can't do that, I, I can't, can't take yes. it. This is a follow-up to a video that I did eight months ago about Jolina, a 70 year old who was left behind by her son, homeless and in and out of shelter, struggling to find a place to live with her small pension in Canada. If you can comment, like, or share, it will help this video tremendously. Get it out there so we can continue to help her and hopefully more people in the future. Also, feel free to contact me or use the GoFundMe, all the information below if you'd like to try to help her in other ways in the later years of her life. This is more of her story. Hey, I'm glad to see you again. Because when I heard of I Am On The YouTube, I said, but I don't even know its name. I, I may not see him again, be, right. but not to hang out sitting as you saw me there those not, times. But when you were by yourself. Yeah. No, I, I was glad because like, I got I to gotta try and find you again. So I remember you had mentioned that, you know, the church was trying to help you and you spent a lot of time at the church. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I knew in the area there was like three or four. So I'm like, I'm going to go to every single one. And, and, and then, of course, you were helping. <laughs> so yes, was... yes, that's my thing. I am an hospitality person, so I serve the people and I serve the homeless. And anyone come, we don't turn them back. It's a shame to see what really go on. Some, some days we are serving over 80 people. Just, over 80 people we are serving. Just for uh, one meal? For one meal. And it's not like they're eating one hamburger or one hot dog. Sometimes they need another. They come for another two or three because they said they're hungry. Because of the video, a lot of people contacted you and your, you said your sister contacted you and your, and your son knew about it, even though he found out he still wasn't, didn't want to help at all. So I... I, I no, he just, he, he knew, he knew. All the, even when you saw me there and we had that talk, he knew, I think he knew what's going on because Everything I was with it in the first building, pack up and in Costa Rica right now. All my accoutrement, that's not a big good word. Accoutrement, uh, my things, they're sitting in Costa Rica in wherever is houses. Because that was the arrangement. I was going there to live with them. I was going there to live with him and his wife. Both of them just, I did not see it coming. He knew I would be homeless because I have nothing here. I did, we did speak about it before. I came back and I was at my granddaughter for two weeks and then she couldn't keep me on a long term, which I know and I didn't expect her to either, you know. He's not rich either, he's not rich. It's not like he's rich and have money. But um, my son was my friend. I didn't know that was coming. I didn't see that coming. I know I wasn't the best mother, but I had tried my best to look after my children. That's okay. And I did. I did all what I could with what I have and what I know. So I did not expect. And they just desert me. I did with what I have and what I know. That don't make me good mother, okay. But at least I'm still their mother. I had given all I had to them. I was a street girl when I was pregnant with them. I was a street person when I was pregnant with them. I didn't know better. I bring them and I look after them. I take my pleasure, go get them. I take my love and support them. Their father never looked after them, so it was Makes just me hard. alone. Makes life hard. That I can tell you yeah. because that is my yeah. business. No, yeah. It was just me alone. I didn't have their father never stand up to help me. You also worked really hard. Oh yeah. And then you found yourself homeless. Yeah. And it's like it does in the society we live in today. We never can, know. Yeah, you can work hard, do all the right things, True. and then you end up in a situation yeah, like that. Yeah, because I was quite okay. I was I earned my own living here. I never live under government. The government never give me anything. I never go to them anyhow because what I know from my country, Jamaica, you work. So it doesn't matter what I do, I clean toilet bowl, I clean people's house, and I ended up in the hospital, as, as I told you before, 26 years I worked there. 
cleaning the floor, fixing the lunch until I do the instrument uh, for the surgery every day. every day. So it's not like I was a person just lazy hanging around. No. Yeah. If I was lazy, I couldn't be here. Yeah. And one of the things, you know, people don't understand that aren't from Canada. A lot of people are like, well, if you work so long, you get a pension. But I think a lot of people don't realize how expensive it is here that the pension doesn't cover enough. That's correct. So if you don't, even if you have a good job in Canada, your pension, because of the cost of living, the cost of groceries, the cost of everything, you, I think that was your issue. Yes. The little money that you the got. The little from your money pen, and uh, homeless. Yeah. Homeless. You couldn't get I any. I couldn't find a, a place to live. This is a problem. Mm -hmm. The places has just become too expensive. Uh, after I got settled out in the beginning from the shelter, that had pushed me down. It had pushed me re re right, right down. So finding the church and one lady, we started to be little friend and uh, she brought it to the pastor and they helped me out a little. And gradually when that person offered me to live at his place, that is when I get back on my feet uh, to help myself, yes. I thank him so much. I had to give him an open thank you to everybody in the church because he's a very good humanitarian person. I, I would have been sleeping on the street and I didn't want to go back in shelter. Shelter is not for me. Yeah. And shelter is not for me. I don't smoke. I'm not drinking. I don't swear. I don't like those kind of life. I like simple, easy, good life. Were there a lot of people in the shelter that did those things like drugs? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, they talk about shelter. I don't know why that has become a part of people living if they don't have nowhere to live. But you know what? It's governmenting. And when I come back and I cried out to them, I said, please help me. Everything is red tape. Red tape. Everybody also can apply. Mm -hmm. And they were telling me there's a place at King. And in three days next, I got back another message. We are not taking any more application. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So it's a red tape you have to go through. You have to climb earth and earth before you would get a place to live. So they almost make it impossible. Impossible. For you. Because had I not been at this man living there, and if he didn't help me that way, and he put an application, and it's just the grace of God. And the lady came to the door and she said, looking for me and my friend that I met here now, she's the one who had me around and around to get a fine place. I cry a lot. Yes, I go into tears because I feel I must provide what I want myself. I don't want to be struggling with the government to help me. But anyhow, I said, yes, I need a place. And she just said to me like that, young girl, I will give you a place. Somebody's moving today. Just like that. She said, I'll give you priority. Who speak like that? It's God. She has God character in her. She said, I'll give you priority. And two weeks, I got a place to live. And this is just recently? Yes. If if you didn't have the pastor helping you and you were struggling on the street, there would have been no way for you to be in the position to receive what you have because there's so many hurdles that they Oh make. yeah, so, so many hurdles to go over. With all the things that you kind of experienced, you, you experienced the shelter, you experienced kind of feeling helpless with how unaffordable things are. Yes. This new place that you're in, are they giving you a rate that allows you to like- Yes. They kind of reduce it for you so you can manage it? I'm telling it? you, I said this was God. Mm -hmm. This was God, because when the lady said to me, I will give you priority, I'm just weeping, right? Because I'm the weeping willow. And um, when the time, she said, come back, phone her Thursday. My friend phoned, and my friend spoke to her, and she said it wasn't painted. But come Monday, and we went back the Monday. That's a, that's, this was the first Monday, this is the second Monday. And so she take us up and show us the place. I didn't even look at anything. I just want that place. Because it would be my own space Finally. as it is right now. It's my own door. 
So it's a non-profit. They don't overcharge you, okay, so, so to speak. So you, as long as it stays a non-profit, you'll be able to kind of stay within range. And oh, yeah. Push you oh, back. yeah. Because okay. compared to I have gone other places, 2400 a month for a one bedroom, plus your hydro, plus your food, plus your eat. When the lady heard that, she said, I'm so sorry, but you're not qualified. Some people in the video were asking, like, why don't you go back to Jamaica? But you had mentioned before, like, if you go back, then you lose all the things you worked for here, right? Because you can't, you can't leave Canada for more than six months. That's after. right. 182 days. I, when I came back from Costa Rica, I did ask yeah. the, the, revi the uh, our revenue. And, it, and the man said to me, no, I don't know anything about six months. It is 182 days. You have to be back in the country. You can lose your landed status. And would you lose, if you lose your landed status, you're going to you lose, lose some pension. of your money. Yeah, yeah you're going to lose. Because I was told, don't stay more than six months. I was told when I was going, because it could interfere with your pension. Yeah, you would love to live in another island. We were just talking about it this morning. I would love to be in an island where you can do this all year. All year round, not just a few months. No. Right. But it, yeah, it makes it so you can't do it because you lose everything you work 30 years for here. So it doesn't 40 make... years. I work here 40 years. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. I hope that through this video, people will stand up and, and help you now in this part of your life. I know people had said they want to send you wool. They want to help you with food or whatever they can. And, and so I'm going to start right now because I brought yep. you some stuff. So. <laughs> all right. I don't know what you brought, but all I can say, God bless you. Okay. So because of the, because of the, oh, and you bring in wool too. Yes, oh, because of the video, <laughs> people said they want to give you Oh wool. my God. I know you said it's expensive. You haven't been able to afford I wool know, anymore. $13.99 for one of so these. So I got you three. Oh, thank you. Thank you. And thank you. You're welcome. And you're I got, so kind. I got $100 to spend at Walmart for groceries. You're so thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So, thank you. You're welcome. I want you to continue to be happy and thriving. I know life is hard. With That's you. not your money. This is, this this is, my, is your money. This is no, money. you yes, can't do that. I, I can. can't take yes. it. Yes, I want to because no. yes, you can. No, I and can't I, and take it. And I know it. so. I want you to be okay. You've lived. Help. You've it. lived and you've worked hard, and and it's okay to help when people want to help. That's that's what makes life beautiful. You're out here doing gardening, and I see you volunteering and helping other people because you know what it's like. And I want you to continue to. That I like the wool. That I like. And I will take them.